In every experiment there's going to be some type of risk. So we look at safety considerations when we do everything. So I'd advise you that in your practical book, when you do a practical, do this every time, whether you're told to by your teacher or not. Okay, so you need to identify the main hazard in the practical. Now we're not talking about normal lab rules of, uh, oh my hair might get into whatever it is that I'm mixing, or I need to put the stools under, or be careful with the, the glass beaker. We're thinking about the specific practical and what the key hazard is in that. So it could be that you're using an indicator, uh, so for example methylene blue. So methylene blue is a hazard and the risk is that it's an irritant. So if you're going to get it on your skin or in your eyes it's going to hurt. And now the key thing in this is the prevention. We're not looking at what do you do if you get in trouble with this, these pieces of equipment or these solutions. We're looking at how you prevent it in the first place. So because it's an irritant, you could wear gloves. You'd certainly wear a lab coat, but you'd be doing that anyway. And you'd be wearing goggles. So that's the first, the first type of risk. If you're doing anything with hot water, depends on the temperature and the key temperature to think about is 60 degrees plus so any temperatures above 60 degrees can scald or burn so to prevent this yeah you can use tongs to pick up any apparatus out of the water bath you wear in your lab coat so that you're not going to let the the hot water drip onto your skin and you're also going to wear goggles if in doubt put goggles all the time. Any biological um, material that you're using, for example yeast, which is a fungi, the risk with this is that it, it's a potential allergen, so it's allergenic. You might not be allergic to it, but you don't know until you've used it. So you're going to put in prevention measures to stop yourself having an allergic reaction to this stuff. So again, goggles, and maybe gloves.